Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading now for October 16th to October 22nd. This is a weekly reading. This is intended to be a love reading. I have pre-shuffled these decks so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have um, started a Facebook group and you will find the link below if you'd like to join. I do do mini readings all the time for free and you could get chosen if, you're, if you chime in on one of the live feeds. I do up to 20 people at a time, you know, at a, during a night. Um, so you definitely have a chance of being chosen and if you come a lot then you really have a chance. This is for the sign of Aquarius. The basis of your reading is the temperance card, okay? The temperance is an overindulgence. Something needs to be done more in moderation. You need to, re something needs to be balanced, rebalanced out, okay? Um, that is the basis of your reading this week. Um, and we also have the three of pentacles as the basis as well. You could be waiting for communication from somebody. Or you may be called to work as a team with somebody. Let's just zoom this in a little bit better. Okay. So, the basis of your reading here says that there's something going on that you may be overspending, overeating, um, trying to escape from the real world, uh, don't really want to acknowledge something, so it's better to just escape. I feel like um, perhaps you, some of you aren't getting the attention that you desire in, re, in a relationship. Could be from a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. Maybe, you know, you may not be getting the attention that you desire. Or they may be ignoring you. They may not be communicating. Um, they might be the one that has these addictions. Or they might be the one that is overindulging and it's affecting your happiness. I do see there's some impulsiveness, and definitely there could be some addictions for some of you. Not all, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people, and, and it could be even the, the person that you're with, okay? Somebody in your life is could be overindulging, and it's affecting your happiness, all right? We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Again, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius pretty prominently, okay? So... Um, Sagittarius and Leo and Aries, I mean, very, very prominently, okay? So I, I, you, a lot of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. We do have Pisces, we have Taurus, and um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yourself, all right? I do see that um, it's time for you to follow your own path, believe in yourself, many of you are. Uh, many of you have decided that you you um, you're, it's time for a new growth. It's time for a new start, and a lot of you are excited about this new start that you've been contemplating, okay, or thinking about. Uh, but there is a lack of teamwork in some area of your life. There's a lack of teamwork, okay, and a lack of communication all right so I'm not sure who this is with it could be a mother could be a partner okay man or woman uh, it looks like there could be some power struggles going on um, there's a lot of uh, attraction though there's definitely a deep sexual attraction between you and another you know a lot of mutual uh, chemistry all right but still they're not giving you as far as the intellectual part of the relationship that's like not there you know what I'm trying to say there's yeah there might be some sexual chemistry but that's about it I mean that's what I see I don't see that there's a lot of love I see lust okay or or I mean if you're happily married maybe it's just not a lot of communicating this week you know it's just you're on your own and everything is kind of quiet you know um that's what it looks like it looks like things are kind of quiet you're not really having a lot of communication but there's a lot of sexual energy okay um i'm just looking at the rest of the cards here it looks like there's a lot of 
happiness. There's happiness, respect, um, victory, satisfaction. Uh, it looks like, it, I mean, there's a lot, of, it's a lot of strength, a lot of confidence. But there's still uh, some kind of addiction, okay, or overindulgence. All right, somebody is trying to ignore something amidst the happiness, okay? Trying to fake something, mask, you know, that's like a self-mask, okay? There's a mask here, something that is, yeah, the, everything's good on the outside, but on the inside, it's not so good, okay? So I think you're probably looking very sexy. That's where the sexual energy is. You're looking very sexy. You're looking very good. You're looking very attractive. And your pheromones are probably way up there, all right? But <laughs> on the inside, you're feeling kind of by yourself. I'm on my own. I see a, a lot of um, security. I think your your relationship, you know, if you're by yourself or when you're with somebody, I see that you are like financially secure. I don't see a lot of struggling. I mean, it doesn't mean that you're rich, but I see that you're secure. I see that you are, um, even though, even if there's addictions or you're trying to fake something, something you're trying to hide a feeling or something way down deep, you just don't want anybody to know how you really feel um, and you're keeping that under wraps. You know, you're keeping everything under control, even though, you know, everything is running very smoothly this week for you. I don't see chaos. Okay. It looks like it's an exciting week where you're looking very attractive. You're putting, putting out, you know, the pheromones or your aura is shining bright. You're very vibrant, but you're still not getting everything you need. You're not giving, getting everything you want. Okay. Something is still missing. And I think you're just trying to, this is like the fake it till you make it card, the temperance is. So you might be, you know, faking that everything is all peachy when it's really not. Um, I do think, I mean, with the moon here, there's it's like there's an illusion. And there's an illusion right next to that faking it. So there's definitely a faking of us. Faking everything is okay when it's not. Okay. This is the truth. This is an obsession. No, that's insecurity. I thought it was the four. My apologies. This is insecurity. This is this is um love, love. Okay, headed in this direction. So let me skip the rest of the cards. Definitely has something to do with the relationship because we have it here: happiness, family, or relationship. We have it twice. Um, resurgence. Ah, hold on. Let me get the last card. I think many of you are hoping for this relationship to step it up a notch. You're hoping for a relationship. Everything else is going well. You really, you really stepped up your game. You know, you you feel more attractive. You're making yourself look more attractive. You're doing everything you're supposed to be because you feel so insecure with somebody. And I think that you're just trying to bring back the spice to your life. You know, the excitement, the love, whatever. You're trying to bring it back to get this resurgence of a relationship or to find a relationship, period, if you're single. You know, you've stepped up your game and you're, you want this love to come back in. You're looking for this resurgence, this newness, okay? Whether it's with a new person or somebody you're with, you're looking for the spice to come back after a time of it being gone, a time of you it being like none, you know, like nil, like no interest. You're trying to bring the spice back to your life. And you're, I think that you're looking for that breakthrough finally. Okay? That's about bringing the spice back. Uh-huh. You can do it, by the way. You have all the, you have all the spices here to do it. So if you're looking to bring the spice back, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Like I said, your pheromones are, are way up there. There's sexual energy, and I think that's what this week is about is, is releasing it and, um, you know, and, and just playfulness, okay? Playfulness and bringing it back and just 
you know, feeling that resurgence of love or new love. I think that's what it's about. And I think that you are doing, putting in the effort to get it back this week. And you may even decide to overindulge during your playfulness. This is a week of playfulness, okay? Excitement. It is. This is a week of um, playfulness, Aquarius, okay? So you may want to, I mean, I'm not telling you to go out and do stuff, because if I do, I, get, I would definitely get some comments that says, how dare you tell people to go out and get drunk? Well, they don't, did you, does, if your mother told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? I mean, I don't know. So anyway, that's, that's what I got to say about that. But I do see some overindulging, and that's the basis of your reading this week. Maybe this card is here to say, maybe it's time for you to splurge. To, to, to really have some fun. In your way. To bring back the playfulness, playfulness to your relationship or to your life or to find that love. You're looking for that love to come back into your reading. Okay, because you're over here. You're over here. You're looking for the love to come back. Because it, it's been like lacking. Oh my God, I was going to get one of these. I almost grabbed the wrong deck. My apologies. I'm going to get one of these Wisdom Oracle cards. And here it is. Ooh, choice. Choice. Another one had this one too. This is about your choices. What are you going to do? Your choices have an impact, right? They have an impact every single day of the week. If you want to bring the love back, if you're lacking in love, you definitely need to take action. You can't mope over it and hide from it and, and just hide in your bedroom and or it would never get better, all right? When the choice card comes out, it's about you taking action. So don't leave it up to your partner to bring the love back. I see playfulness here. So I think that's big advice for you. To bring back the love or to find new love, it's about how you present yourself. It's about your vibration. Vibes speak louder than words. So if you're looking to spice it up, raise your vibration. Smile. Flirt. Make yourself look attractive so that you can feel attractive. Believe you're attractive. Be kind, give, that's how you raise your vibration, it's all about the choices you make. This card came out because it's all up to you to make a change. If you want to bring the spice back, you're going to have to add it to the recipe. Talk to you later.